your football doesn't matter. Your acting cool doesn't matter. Your Michael Jackson dying doesn't matter. You're being hit with chemical and biological weapons. This Obama's head of science also it called in AP and Reuters for chemtrailing and spraying the atmosphere, quote, to save the environment. And it just so happens these chemtrails, they denied all these years, and they now admit on the front page of the Wall Street Journal saying it'll save the earth. And in Atlantic Monthly, they call for it in the um, July-August issue. I'm not even looking for this stuff. He's on the news in AP and Reuters and Atlantic Monthly and Wall Street Journal and everywhere else calling for blimps and aircraft spraying, and that's exactly what we said they were already doing. They admit, oh, those were just tests. Barium salts and aluminum dioxide that causes Alzheimer's and sterilization and a bunch of other endocrine disruptions in all mammal species. They're hitting us and hitting us hard. And we spent all these years warning you as you laughed at us, and now they come out and declassify they're doing it, but say it's for the earth. And the idiot yuppies go, good, spray me, it's for the earth. Listen, dummies, it's not for the earth, it's for sterilizing you. That's why everybody's getting Parkinson's types and Gillian Bernays. There's, I mean, I, I go to Target or someplace, and a third of the people aren't able to walk now. I see 25-year-olds and 30-year-olds shaking as they buy the... We're getting hit hard here with chemical weapons! And you're like, oh, don't get upset about it. You're supposed to be yell and cry about football or Michael Jackson or something. Ladies and gentlemen, this is real. You know, the good news is I was on ABC News and Drudge and a bunch of other big sites... And it was Al Gore calls for world government. Uh, Russian president calls for world reserve currency. Pope calls for world government. At least now you know I didn't lie to you about all that over the years you laughed. Now maybe, maybe you'll research what I'm telling you and decide to take over the shadow government and stop them. I, I mean, do you, under, do you like them killing you? Do you like them hitting you and hitting you hard? Is this... Is this fun? Is this a game? Is it cute? Is it cute that I'm risking my life to warn you? Maybe they're right. Maybe you you want to die. Maybe it's good. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. All right, folks, your phone calls are coming up when we start the second hour. Only on eugenics. Are you 25? They already told you you have Alzheimer's. You go get CAT scans, your brain is full of aluminum and mercury from the vaccines and from what's put in the air and water, what's sprayed by the government aircraft. On record now, Wall Street Journal, Atlantic Monthly. I mean, look at Atlantic Monthly. They have this big, giant chemtrail story in here, and they have a debate. They go, oh, the government's been doing tests of spraying us with chemtrails. Is, you know, is that a good idea? I'll go over that story later in the next hour. The point is that I don't make any of this up, no matter how crazy it sounds. Uh, this is out of the Australian dot news.co.au, one of their biggest newspapers, the Australian. Viox maker Merck and Co. drew up Dr. Hit List. An international drug company made a hit list of doctors who had to be neutralized or discredited because they criticized the anti-arthritis drug and pharmaceutical giant. Staff at the U.S. company Merck and Co. emailed each other about a list of doctors, mainly researchers and academics. By the way, a bunch of people did get killed, but they just say in the court case, oh, we just meant send hit teams to their house. We just use the term hit team, meaning being friendly. We didn't mean that was a figure of speech. Though a bunch of people have gotten killed, so not connected to them. They're very nice people. It goes on. A staff at the U.S. company Merck & Co. emailed each other about the list of doctors, mainly researchers and academics, who had been negative about the drug Vioxx or Merck and a recommended course of action. We may need to seek out and destroy them where they live, quote, a Merck employee wrote, according to an email excerpt uh, from the court case. And it goes on if you want to read that. So I have a problem. I tend to get up here on air and then make a statement and then want to document it for you. <laughs> and, and, then, and then we kind of get stuck on that point and then when it's not really the main point. John Holdren, Obama's science czar, says forced abortions and mass sterilizations need to be need to be done to save the planet. Now, if you go to prisonplanet.com or infowars.com and click on this master article 
written by Paul Joseph Watson. The article itself is 18 pages long. This article is 18 pages long. And in this article, we have screenshots of dozens and dozens and dozens of the key pages from the book. These are scans of the academic textbook. This is a above PhD textbook for government. And we have screenshots of the front of the textbook and the key pages where this guy calls for women to be forced to abort their pregnancies inside the U.S., whether they wanted to or not. The population at large needs to be sterilized by infertility drugs, intentionally put into the nation's drinking water and food. Single mothers and teen mothers should have their babies seized from them against their will and given away to other couples to raise. See, CPS was set up by eugenicist groups 89 years ago, 90 years ago, but about 100 years ago in England. The family courts, that's why they're outside of judge, jury, that's why they're outside of due process. It's a racial hygiene court. It's what they were called in the U.S. People who contribute to social deterioration can be required by law to exercise reproductive responsibility. In other words, be compelled to have abortions or be sterilized. A transnational planetary regime should assume control of the global economy and also dictate the most intimate details of Americans' lives using an armed international police force. And it goes on. Now, I'm going to go through the actual quotes coming up after we take calls the next hour. But I want you to understand that all of this is being implemented, and this is the textbook created by the man who heads up the federal government's science operations. This is for real. Forced abortions, mass sterilization, a planetary regime, world government with the power of life and death over American citizens, the tyrannical fantasies of a madman, or merely the opinions of the person now in control of the science policy of the United States. Now, you can go read EcoScience at PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com right now. You can go see this for yourself, but understand that don't stop there. Randomly pick the head of the psychology department at your local university. Randomly pick the head of biology at your local university. Randomly pick the head of the state psychiatry board. Randomly pick the head of the water board. And go look, and nine times out of ten, they are going to be a public eugenicist. Ladies and gentlemen, they run almost everything. And now they're calling for George Mombiot, big writer of the London Guardian, was in a big story a couple months ago where hundreds of top journalists called for a planetary government to carry out the green carbon taxes and population reduction. And Mombiot came out Friday with an article we covered and said, I want to restrict all free speech and have government certification of blogs. Nancy Pelosi's been calling for that. The federal government's been calling for that. A fairness doctrine, not just over talk radio, but the Internet, where you're not allowed to criticize planetary warming and you can't say the sun's causing it. They're actually calling for that to be a form of hate speech. And the House has passed, the Senate's set to pass, the hate crimes law saying that they can basically list whatever they want as illegal. Same thing with the Cyberbullying Act. It's all happening. These people mean business. Now, you may be a control freak. You may see yourself as an elitist. But you're drinking the sodium fluoride water, and that's only one of hundreds of chemicals they put in that's known to sterilize and brain damage. You are taking vaccines full of all of this garbage put in there by design and the cancer viruses that have been found in every major vaccine. We've got Dr. Sock and others bragging how it gave 98 million Americans cancer just in the first round of polio shots. That's a U.S. government report. Would you like me to pull it up? Maybe during the five-minute news break I can find that and pull up Dr. Sock saying that on video and laughing about it. Or pull up the government report, 98 million. Now, you may think 98 million of you since the 1950s to now dying of this stuff's fun and cute and, 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 and great. But let me tell you, it, it, it isn't fun to me. You may think you can do the little yuppie cultural deadness of giggling about it, but that won't get you past all this. 
Now, a lot of you laughed about me saying they want a world government to carry out eugenics. That's their own statement, the 1996 Biological Diversity Assessment Official UN Policy, saying they want a world government so they can carry out the orderly reduction of population by 80%. And there's hundreds of other documents. And my film Endgame covers hundreds of those documents. Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement. By the way, did we get what is the endgame.com back up? That site had crashed. It, it has a, it, it's back up. A full bibliography on it. A full bibliography of the film, everything footnoted. If you want to go there and find out about eugenics, that's the best place to, uh, to do it. But right now, before we go to break, I want to play Al Gore three days ago, before the Times of London in a press conference, saying global government, global governance will carry this out.